What's up everyone, welcome back to the Coral Reef Talk. Today we're talking about a product from Algogen called Phytoplasm and why it's important for your reef tank, exactly what it is and how I'm gonna be using it on my reef. Okay, so what is phytoplankton? Now, this is Algogen's Phytoplasm as we've already established and that's just a fun name uh, for the product, but this is green uh, phytoplankton. Now, phytoplankton is a single-celled plant that lives in the ocean, and it's vital to uh, marine life. Um, it helps produce fatty acids. Uh, you can feed it to your tank to help uh, feed your copepods, to help grow them, and to help grow all the little critters inside your reef. Now, I love what they're doing over there at Algogen, and I really love the packaging of this product. Now, what they've done with Phytoplasm, as you can see, they put it in a bag that resembles uh, much like an IV bag. You can drip it into your tank. So all you need to do is find a spot that you can hang the bag, and then you can drip it into your tank. So in my case, I'm gonna hang this down in the sump so that it gets picked up by the return pump and circulates through the tank so that everything gets fed and it gets um, well established in the reef tank. That is really great about this product is that you can start off slowly because you can set the drip with the drip valve here and have it slowly dripped throughout the day and weeks in your reef tank. Now, when you receive your order of phytoplasm, if you leave it sitting around, uh, parts of your phyto are gonna settle. All you gotta do to fix that is just pick up the bag, give it a shake, let it mix back up and you're good to go. Now you don't want it to settle for a long time and you don't want it to stay that way. So just um, every day, just pick it up, give it a shake until you put it in your reef tank. But once you have it hanging up, you should be fine. Now, as I said, I'm a big fan of Algogen and everything that they're doing over there. And just to have your phytoplankton in a bag like this that can just drip in your tank throughout the days and weeks um, until it runs out, uh, it's just genius to me. I really like the packaging. Um, it's solid and the Fido is really dark green so you know it's a good product. And as soon as you order the product, they package it up the same day and send it out. So you're getting the freshest product available. Okay, so we talked a little bit about what phytoplankton is or in this case, phytoplasm. And we're gonna take it now and install it down uh, by the sump so that we can start the drip and get it going into the system. Let's go. Okay, so here we are underneath the tank and I have my drill here and a tiny little screw that I'm gonna put into one of the support beams on my sump so that way the bag uh, can hang perfectly over the sump, drip it in, and then it can get carried back up to the system. So it's gonna look something like this. I don't know how well you can see it from this camera angle. I'll zoom in for you, but we're gonna hang it about right there, middle of the system. Okay, so the first step was to choose a spot to hang the bag, and this spot looks perfect. Now, the screw I was gonna use ended up not working out, and I found this J-hook, which worked great. Now, you can see the phytoplasm hanging on the J-hook here. Here's the view from the back of the bag. Now, once I got it hung up where I wanted it to, it was time to set the drip rate. Now. It was a little bit challenging for me to set the drip rate for this product only because I was doing it with one hand and trying to film with the other hand as you can see here. But once I set the drip rate, everything was fine. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, please click that subscribe button and check the notification button to be notified every single time I make new videos. And let me know in the comment sections below, do you add phytoplankton to your reef tank? If you do, what brand do you use? Have you tried Algogen's Phytoplasm? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you learned something today and I'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk.